on arrival in Cape Town? Is there a particular, some people talk about cutting the corner to try and get to Cape Town. Uh, can you just explain to us what, what that cutting the corner, the, the risks involved with that or the benefits involved with that and what you would recommend as the best way into Cape Town? Yeah, Cape Town's a tricky one. These guys will have left um, the doldrums, popped into that southern hemisphere, then the temperature drops really quickly as they get those westerly trades to hook along the bottom of the southern Atlantic there. But then the approach to Cape Town, you, everybody just wants to point straight at Cape Town. Yeah. But that Table Mountain not only is a, an amazing feature and one of the iconic places to sail into, but it also has a major effect on a massive wind shadow there. And I've been caught where I've gone to make the entry into Cape Town and everybody's seen me slow down and everybody's sailed around me. Oh. And it's the person that ends up staying further out for the longest that actually makes it the better, more miles, but they seem to get in there. So actually it's a case of not, not pushing too early to get into that bay. Come into Cape Town through the back door, as they say. For sure, <laughs> and I think a lot of these guys will have done a little bit of homework and looked, and there's a lot of experience on these boats that are out there, and they will have probably experienced it all themselves at some point. But that, that low mist over Cape Town is a real telltale. The cloud over Table Mountain is a telltale, and I can guarantee that the wind will shut down at some point. Wow, that's, um, it'll be very unwelcome when they're just in sight of a, a cold beer and a steak and chips, it's I'm sure. It's even more frustrating <laughs> when you're so close yet so far, but they really got to sail all the way to the finish line before there's any partying to be done in Cape Town. <laughs> and then, of course, Cape Town, um, certainly for me, one of the most spect spectacular landfalls a sailor could ever make and also one of the most spectacular places that you can visit on the planet, I think. 